What sets an expert apart from a newbie isn't as complicated as you think. There are a number of factors involved but will take the most crucial ones that you can model for your freelancing journey as well. And you might be even surprised that a simple tweak in your mindset and approach can have a big impact to your results. Following these tips I'm about to share with you can definitely help you position yourself as a valuable asset to your prospect's business rather than as a liability even if you're just starting out. So let's dive in. The first thing that differentiates an expert from a newbie is that experts know their target market well. They understand what motivates them, what frustrates them, what their doubts, um, fears, hesitations, desires, and priorities in life. You have to know who your target market is like the back of your hand. And the good news is with, you know, with technology nowadays, anyone can easily find information in just one click of a mouse. For example, if you want to work with online yoga instructors, try searching on YouTube a day in the life of an online yoga instructor. If you want to work with therapists, you know, do the same search and just replace yoga instructor with therapist. Um, more often than not, they actually give you clues and hints on what they struggle with on a daily basis, such as managing their time because of having multiple clients or probably the opposite they're not getting as many consistent clients as they would want so they're literally telling you what matters to their businesses and what they need help with so what's left for you to do is to align your offer and services to their actual needs make sense another example is let's say you're an inspiring amazon ba there are tons of free support groups for Amazon sellers on Facebook. What you can do is join those three to five groups and observe, read what these people post and gather data. Soon, you'll see that there are common problems and concerns that they repeatedly encounter. So that need is what you should focus on. The second thing that sets expert apart from newbies is that Experts have a process. Um, one of my Amazon clients wanted to hire an agency to help us shoot and create a company video. Um, basically, it would showcase our brand's mission, vision, our products, and why we are the best among our competitors. Uh, since I'm the director for their business development, um, I had to attend the virtual meetings with those agencies together with our director for marketing. And what I noticed was that all the agencies we spoke with had us fill out a customer form, which is basically just a questionnaire to get to know us better and what we want for our company video. Then during the meeting, they dug deeper and asked us more questions to understand you know, our preferences, uh, our goals and expectations. And after the call, each of them sent us a proposal of how they plan to execute and shoot our company video, um, the venue, the, the storyline, um, how many actors we need, the timeline, and of course, the prices. Of course, you're not expected to come up with such process as comprehensive as that, but it shouldn't stop you from starting with a basic one. Because you see, having a process implies that you know and understand what you're doing. It gives your prospects, you know, confidence that if they decide to work with you, their business will be in good hands. And although it's true that you haven't gotten any actual experience yet, having the fundamentals is still important. A case on point was when you're having your OJTs. You were already given, you know, some tasks at work prior to having actual experience doing those tasks. Basically because your school has already taught you the fundamentals, the foundation. If you can show the kind of foundation that you possess, you can gain your prospect's trust. Example, if you're offering Instagram management, you can come up with a four-week strategy presentation on how you plan to increase 
their followers and engagement. Um, there are tons of free resources online from people, you know, demonstrating how you could do just that. Again, these people, the prospects that you're talking to, they know that these strategies exist. But hey, they are business people and they are busy with, you know, high level business stuff. So they need someone who can take care of the other time consuming but important stuff as well. That's where you come in. If you're an Amazon VA with no previous experience, do a screenshot or a screen share and record yourself to show them how you do product research or inventory management. If you're in PPC ads, offer a free audit instead of their current campaigns. See, um, creating a process can be as simple and straightforward as those that I've mentioned. And for the last differentiating factor and perhaps the most intimidating of them all is that experts have results. If you come face to face with a candidate holding a proven track record, how can someone who's only starting out even compete? And although it's true that results strengthens a person's reputation, um, what many fail to realize is that you can actually borrow credibility. That's the exact same principle you use when you showcase your trainings in the universities you graduated from. You're basically borrowing your school's credibility in producing top quality students and you being able to pass their standards and receive your diploma give you the right to claim that. It's also the same reason why some parents would even choose to bury themselves into debt just to send their kids to reputable schools because, you know, whether we accept it or not, there are people or companies who would hire based from the university people graduated from. And how can you apply this in freelancing? Well, borrow the credibility of your mentor, your trainings, your certifications, and your connections. If you were sent to a business conference as a representative of your company, use that and share the key takeaways you learned from that event. Um, if you were a scholar of an exclusive organization, you know, use that as well to your advantage and share them the story of how difficult it is to qualify for that scholarship and how to maintain that scholarship as well. Um, did you intern or have your OJP in a well-known company or brand? Well, be proud of it and share what skills you learned during the training. Um, did you take any supplementary courses like ASBA? Well, tell them about our curriculum, our outline, who our mentor is, um, Coach Lish Aquino, what she has achieved, and what our community looks like, and so much more. So after watching this video, my challenge to you is to know your target market, create a simple, straightforward process, and gather past experiences and training that can strengthen your credibility. And I'm sure you'll be amazed that you actually have a lot of ammunition under your belt. If you like this kinds of content, then be sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell to get the latest updates on our channel. Again, this is Nikki B, your VA expert, and with Amazon Nation, we open possibilities. Hey everyone, if you like this kinds of topics, please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the notification bell para lagi kayong updated sa mga ina-upload naming videos. And do like and follow our Facebook and Instagram accounts at Amazon Nation PH. Again, that's Amazon Nation PH. So again, this is Nikki, your Amazon VA, and together, let's build your brand and transform lives through Amazon. See you in my next vlog. Bye!